hi here we can see how to create a swap partition in command line and after creating a swap partition how to create a swap file system in the created partition so for that we need to use the command line in the command line only the possible to create a partition using the yep disk the yep disk is one of the good tool so i am going to use that one here you can see the partitions already I have yep disk minus L the partitions are root its boot partition and the swap root partition and the swap partition here you see it's a swap file system already I have the 2 GB of swap partition but I want to add uh, 500 MB of swap partition more so how I am going to do it for that for that I am using the command efdisk minus cu dev vda here my hard disk is vda so what I am using vda ok already I have derived the root the boot partition and the root partition and the swap but I am going to add one more 500 MB of swap inside the efdisk if you want to create a partition you need to use the command n to create the new partition so here if you want to help just help type help you can get the all the commands which are available in the EF disk okay and now I am going to create the new partition for that I am going to press n for creating a adding a new partition here you see the command press n and already I have created the uh, three partitions so only one partition I can be created now only there are, we can create four four primary partitions so already I have created three partitions if I create a partition one more partition I can't able to derive one more so I'm not going to create that one so uh, here I'm going to create the extend partition inside the if I am going to create the extend partition inside the extend partition I need to create the logical so first of all we need to create a partition if you can't understand uh, I'll tell, describe that one if you are creating a primary partition in the single PC we can create up to four primary partitions already I have created three but if I am going to create one more I can't able to derive the logical so I am here creating an extend and inside the extend I am going to create a logical volume ok so now for creating the how much sector from which sector I want to start I don't know the how where I want to start so just press enter and I am going to use there are 2 GB space the extend we need to give the full size so let me give the full size just press enter and then press new inside the extent we need to create a logical so press n and it will ask for the starting sector just press enter and I am going to create 500 MB of swap for that just type plus 500 M the M means MB here it has been mentioned plus size and plus 500 and if I need to add e MB it's mentioned want to be mentioned as M if I want to add a GB then we want to mention as G and press enter just if you want to exit right and exit just press enter after giving the command W press enter you can see here W right table to disk and exit yeah now the partition has been created and execute the F disk minus L to confirm that see here the extend has been created and inside the extend I have created the logical volume I say I say 83 this is Linux partition type ok and now I am going to make create a now the swap partition has been created now I am going to create the file system make swap using the make swap make swap command and I have created now I have created 
the VDE5 500MB okay MK swap dev VDE5 mobile yeah I need to one thing I want to remember just after creating a drive we need we must want to restart this system to take effect if not the drive want to be accessible so I am restarting now wait for a while let it come back yeah it's booting and came back uh, let me log in because of the visual machine is it will be a little bit slower and let me check if this minus l it will show the drive ok there are partitions newly created extent and newly created logical and now I can create a make swap file make swap dev vda5 going to create a swap partition in newly created partition so vda5 and press enter the swap partition has been created ok setting up swap space version 1 size was 500 MB something and there was no label and UUID was this one so each and every reboot we want to take effect this swap partition new we have created a new swap and it want to each and every boot up it want to take effect so for that we need to add in the entry this UID uh, want to be added in your first tab let me see mm, you have this minus L ok and VI ETC your first tab we want to add here already there was a swap file system it was added here as the same we need to add in this file so come to the bottom of this file and don't modify any lines just co paste the copied UUID there then the file system was swap ok and the partition was the mount system also swap and the default default 0 0 ok save the FS tab file and exit that's it if you forget to copy the um, UUID you don't want to worry about that just you can use a command blkid and use the partition vda5 you will get the uid ok the file system that mentioned as swap ok and it mentioned as there is no label before we are while we are creating if you want to change the label also we can create tune to your first the command and dev vda5 tune to fs minus l it will show something wrong tune tune to fs minus l dev vda5 uh, maybe we can check it later and then we are going to on the swap we have created the swap and we have added the entry in the first tab now we are going to listing the swap whether the swap was there or not for that swap minus yes oh. swap on dev first we need to on the swap vda5 the swap has been on um, swap on minus s will show whether the swap has been on or not so here you see vda 
video file was I have created now and 500 MB the partition was on so what it's listing here if you don't want to uh, if you want to on all the swap you can use the command swap minus a and for status swap minus s if you need to off the swap a particular swap now I'm going to off the swap of VDA3 okay dev VDA3 it will off the swap now you see the status it's off okay if you want to on every now I am going to off the video file also if you see the command swap minus s there is no swap file system on and if you want to on all of the swap file system swap minus swap on minus a it will show the on the all swap file system okay if you want to remove the created swap file system first of all you want to delete the entry from your first tab and after that we need to remove the partition that's it let me reboot one time and let me check whether the partition f disk was working if first tab entry was working or not okay wait for a while here now it's rebooted and let me check the fs tab entry there is no error with the fs tab entry if the error is if there is an error with fs tab entry you can't able to boot properly and it will show the troubleshooting so there is no error with the fs tab so what it came back to the desktop so you see swap on minus yes yeah it's fine it's work so we can see you later in other tutorial bye